It's the only thing that's missing from around here is is a classic local parade. Like any, you know, parades in Dublin are dwarfed by the giant spectacle of the city centre. I think there's room around here for a village. It's an, an inch corner Rialto village parade, but with that country feel. Because you need that. There's something I love about the small. You know, they go around the they go around the world. They do Dublin, and then they go. You know, so it's Dublin is. The rain didn't dampen the spirits, and you know, <laughs> they're, they're, they're trying to find shots of like you know tourists. Oh, we love coming to Ireland, and then like they have to edit out a lot of stuff. Yes, they are doing that for the telly. You know, they have to, kind of, they have to cut all of that out. Like they film about eight hours, and like seven and a half hours of it is just going, put me on your fucking show, you know. And, like, and that's what they should be putting on instead of instead of majorettes from Baltimore. Like, I want to see the lad carrying a little bag who's crossed the street to find out what the fuck's going on over here. That's for me, is it's the really essence of Patrick's Day. So I want that, but I wanted the village setting, because when they go around the country, so they do Dublin, then they do Galway, and in Galway there's some mad stoner shit. Like, Mocklins today are representing the spirit of the god Splutherach, and... Uh, <laughs> And it's just some papier-mâché thing, and there's a lot of lads and beards operating this, you know, uh, Will Smith, Wild Wild West, men, you know, uh, robot, and nobody knows what's going on. And, and, it's, and the parade is stuck in traffic and lock up at lock the toilet uh, for eight hours, right? But it's when they go around the country, and then they go up to the mad small ones, and I, I just love those because they are what happens when there's no editor, right? When it's like, we have two hours to fill, there are 300 people who, can, who are around the area, so anything is, there are, there's no gatekeepers to a small rural parade. I know this because I'm, I'm from Indripsy, smallest, shortest St. Patrick's Day parade in the world uh, in 1999. Was it, it's actually in the Guinness Book of Records, 25 yards long, it went from, <laughs> went from one pub to another. And everything went in, like horses went in the back of one pub and came out in order to join the, per like to continue the route. But like, you could tell they were scraping the bottom of the barrel because like, you know, there was a vintage, there was a, no, they were, no, literally, let's hear me out. They were, in Dripsy they were, because the 25th float, right? The 25th item was, just a, a guy, it was from Denny, so all the local businesses, Denny sludge disposal, right? <laughs> and it was just a fella driving a large septic tank cleaner. Like that was, so it was literally a float of floaters, right? And, and it wasn't even decorated. He was just driving a lorry. It's possible he just got accidentally caught up in the parade. Like we're not clear. And that they just printed the program afterwards. So, it's th so if there's one thing, if there's one thing we can do, aim for, be it Fatima Groups United or wherever, is, is, is a Patrick's Day parade, even down along. But like my favorite street is the one that runs along the back of here, um, the mad one there, where it's big white pavement, James's Walk, right?